All right, I wanna thank everyone for joining us today for our first Spring 2021 Dolphin Pod Chat. Woo! All right, today we have our COA president, Dr. Bagwell. Thank you for joining us, sir. And our vice president of student success enrollment management, Chris Burrs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, I just want to say thank you for joining us today, and we have um, my partner, Adrian Knight. Woo! Um, what he'll do at the end is we will have uh, Dr. Bagwell and Miss Chris will be speaking first. At the end, we will have Q&As, um, and Adrian Knight will call on people. So if you have a question, feel free to put it in the chat and Adrian will call on your name and you can ask your question. So we're gonna go ahead and begin with Dr. Bagwell. Hello, sir, how are you today? I'm well, hope you are. Yes, sir. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Zoom over to you, sir. Well, thank you, I appreciate that, uh, Mama Dawn. I appreciate the opportunity to be on the pod chat again. And really, all I wanted to do today was just say, welcome to 2021. Thank goodness we are in 2021, and 2020 is behind us. Of course, our hope and our desire and our planning is all around 2021 being better, different, um, at least headed in a different direction than 2020 seemed to be. So I don't have an agenda today. I do want to make sure that you know who I am, that when you see me around town, that you see me uh, driving through one of the fast food restaurants, which I will tend to do from time to time, you can stop me and, and speak to me and tell me how it's going. So wanted to make sure that you knew that we are continuing to watch what's happening in the news, to plan accordingly. Our goal is obviously, our desire, I should say, is for you all to be back face to face as quickly as possible, 100% of the time, so that we can move on and get this COVID craziness, as I have started to call it, behind us. But we still got a little ways to go. The college is still continuing to do its part as the community's college. We vaccinated, we didn't, I didn't, Ms. Burris and I didn't hold people down and vaccinate them, but the college made it a, a possible for the health department here in the area to come in and vaccinate 2,200 people the other day. That's huge. Northeastern North Carolina is doing a great job of getting folks who are so inclined, who want the vaccine, an opportunity to get the vaccine. So we're continuing to work with the health department, continuing to learn things about what we need to be doing, how we need to do things differently. And Ms. Burris and uh, Dawn and Dean Sweeney and Professor Morrison and everybody else that's on the call here have been moving us forward and making sure that we have everything, all our bases covered, at least to the best of our ability. So I appreciate our faculty and our staff, but most of all students, I appreciate you and your stick to your resiliency. Resilience and resiliency are the words of the year. I mean, that is just what we've experienced here at College of the Albemarle and community colleges, uh, universities, for-profits, private institutions, all of us have been going through a lot of stuff and the students have been wonderful and you have been the best. So thank you for all that you do and, and thank you for uh, being here and choosing COA. Thank you, thank you, sir. We pre I appreciate that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to Miss Vice President, Chris Burrs. Hello, how are you, ma'am? I'm doing great and I feel like I need a cup that says Vice President Bur Burris on there. So next item that I need to purchase. Um, greetings everyone and definitely happy Tuesday, happy start of the term. Uh, I am Chris Burris, the Vice President for Student Success and Enrollment Management. And it's always a pleasure for me to connect and to uh, be able to share and speak with whether it's students, faculty, staff. Um, relationships are so important. I wanted to jump on today just to make sure you guys are aware what we're doing regarding COVID-19, the steps that we're taking, but primarily I, I also want to make sure you know how to access the resource guide. And so we do have a student uh, resource guide specific to COVID-19 that we update on a regular basis. 
that can be found on our website and I encourage everyone to access that um, as much as possible. Um, within the student resource guide, we talk about academic resources, student success resources, we uh, highlight COVID-19 communications. There is a health and awareness, uh, health and safety awareness section, as well as information about campus and facilities. But what you may know or you may not have learned because it was a change that we implemented towards the end of last fall was that we are now a campus that requires everyone to wear a face covering at all times. So what does that really mean? <laughs> um, it means that um, we're all responsible for each other's safety. We're all responsible. So I'm responsible for myself, but I'm responsible for you. I'm responsible for the community. And when the governor says, hey, I want to implement this mandate requiring face masks, whether someone's inside or outside, we wanted to comply and we wanted to make sure that we were doing everything we could as a college to ensure everyone's safety. So we are now requiring students, faculty, staff, and visitors to wear a face mask at all times. So this means parking lots, moving between buildings, walking across campus, and even within common areas and other spaces on any of the campuses that belong to COA. You know, you hear, if you ever watch the governor's briefing, you always hear about the three W's, and that is so important. We wanna make sure that everyone's wearing their mask. Again, I cannot stress that enough, but we also wanna make sure that you're washing your hands and we want to make sure that we're all waiting six feet apart. So whether you're outside or inside, we ask that you don't gather in, in uh, large groups, but that you respect those boundaries um, and continue to remember that it's our responsibility as a COA community to keep each other safe. In addition, I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware that the facilities team, they will continue with the cleaning um, and disinfecting of our buildings and our grounds. Once again, we're trying our best to do anything and everything we can do to ensure everyone's safety. So if you have questions, student resource guide, you can call me personally, you can send me an email. Um, if you Thank you've been exposed. If you test positive, please submit a Maxian report for student COVID cases. That way that information gets to us and we can do everything we can to assist you with um, making sure you don't fall behind in your work um, and providing and connecting you to resources that you might need within the community as well as on the college campus. So again, I just wanted to make sure that you all were completely aware of all the things that we're doing. We're constantly monitoring uh, and updating this resource guide and, and we're really partnering with the community and we're following CDC guidelines. And so we take your well-being, your education, we take that seriously. And so if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please let us know. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. I appreciate that. Also, some of you that may be joining us, and this may be your first semester here to COA, I just want to say welcome, welcome. You picked a perfect community college. Welcome to our COA family. Um, I just wanted to add in there, um, whatever campus that you may be attending, um, you may have a lab or you may be in aviation or HVAC or welding, cosmetology, um, BLET, we do have some students on campus that our water fountains, yes, they are still turned off due to COVID-19, but COA does have water for you. So in each building, there's a table that also will have the COVID-19 books that Ms. Chris was talking about. Thank you, Ms. Chris. And we also do have bottles of water that's out there. You can also pick up a code of conduct book. Um, you can also receive, um, there's a schedule out there with important dates, withdrawal dates, you know, when, when you need for spring 2021. You can also pick up for each campus, it has the advisor's information where if you need to get in touch with someone and you're not sure who it is, you can go to one of the tables and pick that information up also. 
Um, so I do want you all to know that. Um, but if you have questions or concerns, like Ms. Chris said and Dr. Bagwell, we're always here for you. Everyone that works for COA is here for you. Um, we're just one big family. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the discussion. And again, just to remind everyone, if you'll put it in the chat, if you have any questions, any concerns, if you'd like to bring up how your classes are going so far this semester, you may have a lab that you're coming and attending. Anything that you'd like to ask, just go ahead and put it in the chat. And for the best of our abilities, we're going to um, answer that for you. All right, Mr. Adrian, are you out there to call on the first person? Yes, I am, and we have no questions. Okay. It's okay. If it's a short pod chat, that's okay. I just, this is important information for everyone to um, get out there. And, you know, we'll have many more. Our next one is actually going to be one. And if you see some of your friends that may not be on today, share it. Share it with social media about the Dolphin Pod Chats because um, our next one will be dealing with the resources we have here at the library. The resources that we have with Miss Robin Robertson um, setting you up for tutoring. You know, a lot of you are just starting off and you may enter a class saying, okay, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure. You contact Miss Robin and we'll be right there. And we'll also be having Mr. Aaron that is the writing coordinator that will actually be telling you and helping you with papers. You know, when I went back to school, I was not sure how to write a paper. So he is really good one to read your papers before you submit them to your professors. So that is our next one, which will be uh, January 26th. So we're gonna go ahead and check the chat one more time and see if we have anything. We do not have a question, but Abby Burner does have a comment. Okay. Comment, not a comment. <laughs> um, I just wanna say this semester, like different than last semester, I really like how we're like implementing having your camera on during the Zoom class. I feel like it makes it way more interactive than it was whenever it wasn't really required. And obviously I know that's different for some classes, but I like now I'm taking like public speaking and then sociology and I just find it very like interactive, more interactive than it was last semester. Good. And I like seeing your face too, Abby. Where did you go? <laughs> there you are. I love that smile. <laughs> Well, I, I, I appreciate that comment too, Abby. We, you know, we want to balance between people's privacy and recognizing that people have things going on. And, uh, but you know, it's so difficult to to teach a class to talk to a camera when there's nobody looking back at you. We had a convocation last week. I think we had what 158 people on the line at the same time, and I asked folks if their bandwidth would allow it to get online because I wanted to talk to people and not to a computer screen and have some interactions. So Abby, that's a, that's a great comment. And I know our faculty are, are working hard to make sure that they, they implement those types of strategies while respecting the fact that, you know, not everybody has a camera or the bandwidth that would allow it and all of those things. So thank you. Madison, were you the one sharing about your interview? Yes, I was. Let me just tell you, last week during convocation, I was working from home and Dr. Bagwell asked that. I was totally not prepared to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 158 people. <laughs> so I can relate to your story. <laughs> Note to self, always be prepared. Always Shoulders be up. ready. Shoulders you, up. <laughs> you should know, you can never tell what that crazy Bagwell is going to do. So, <laughs> you, know, I, you know, there are times I've been online and not and I saw that thumbs up, Sweeney. Uh, you know, so so you never you never know what's going to happen. But there have been times I've been unprepared to be seen on the camera as well. So you know, with respect, uh, certainly I wouldn't make anybody turn it on. But I appreciate uh, when folks were able and willing and ready. And I would be remiss if I didn't say hello to Michelle. I saw you get online. Good to see you. And Hi, Meister. Good to see you too, Dean Zinsmeister. All right, Adrian, do we have any questions or comments or anything in the chat after Abby? No, ma'am. 
and, and folks, we don't have to talk about just academic stuff here. So, um, you know, if there are things that are going on in the community you want to share with us or things that we could be better involved in or you think we could have a, uh, you know, a uh, say in, let us know. We are going through our strategic planning processes now and you should see some opportunities arise over the next few months to give some feedback to the college. We're starting to put together our next, we're saying three to five year plan. We haven't narrowed it down yet, but what is going to guide the college going forward in the coming days, weeks, months, and three to five years? And, you know, one of the things that, um, that we don't know is what the future is going to hold. Uh, this has been a very different time for higher education. So uh, appreciate your feedback and all of us working together, students, staff, faculty, and uh, administration, we'll figure it out uh, one step at a time. I believe I saw another question pop up on chat or somebody had a question. Michelle has a comment. Um, I just wanted to say on behalf of the whole SGA um, to any students, I'd like to say welcome mm -hmm. back. We're happy to have you. Um, I'm very happy to see Dr. Bagwell, Ms. Chris, um, myself. I went to nurses aid orientation yesterday. I was very excited to be back on campus. So that was amazing. Um, and I'm just ready to have a great semester. Great. Thank you, Michelle. I also did want to mention that we have been approved for a hashtag. Um, so anybody want to post pictures and stuff, our new hashtag is COA Dolphins. So don't be shy on using it. Good. Awesome, Michelle. And let's just talk about Michelle and she will be debuting her acting skills uh, this week. Tomorrow? Is that tomorrow, Michelle? So she will be one of these students. Uh, featured in our new student online orientation, as well as Dr. Bagwell. I'm just a standby, but we have the real talent. <laughs> well, Michelle's the talent. I'll just be the uh, extra, you know, the walking back and forth <laughs> guy. I had a, um, this is a little aside, if I, if I may, I had a, a good friend in graduate school whose husband was an actor. So, at the end of our graduate school program, they moved to New York where he took part in a, in a famous acting program and he really never made it big, but he was on a number of shows as an extra. And really, I never thought about that before, but I started watching shows differently and she would say, he's going to be on, you know, blah, blah, blah show tonight. Look for him. Well, you'd see him about four times because he'd walk by with a hat on, then he'd take his hat off and walk back by, and then he'd take his coat off and walk back by. So, you know, he had like five scene appearances within about 30 seconds. So that's what I'm going to be doing while Michelle's the star of the show. I'm just going to be walking behind her with a hat on, a hat off, a coat on, a coat <laughs> off. Hope that doesn't distract you at all, Michelle. You're pro, you can handle it. Michelle, you're going to have some competition. Uh, the, the film crew was out here at the D.A.R.E. campus, and <clears throat> Michael Lewis, he kind of stole the show. And um, so you got some uh, some competition there. So, so good luck. You'll do well, though. You'll do Thank well. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Dr. Bagwell and Chris, uh, Megan probably needs some really uh, TLC with this weather out here, out in the uh, little bit of rain and trying to video and stuff, but she's been a trooper. So uh, a, a really good day today with the uh, crew. They're very pleased with um, the students. The students did outstanding. Um, matter of fact, one of the production crew said that uh, it was the uh, best he's ever seen as far as just taking one or two takes. So uh, kudos to our, our students. Very good job yeah. today. Great. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that update, Tim. I'm well. sure that's due to all of the wonderful instruction that they've gotten in public speaking. <laughs> here. And I don't Absolutely. know who might, exactly. who might deserve some of that credit, but we'll figure out who. <laughs> Definitely. We have the best calm teachers around. <laughs> Absolutely. No doubt about it. Um, I would like to go back to what Michelle was talking about, our hashtag. And thank you for bringing that up, Michelle. I'd like to introduce Miss Emily. Are you still on? I'm here. Hi, Miss Emily. Hi, y'all. Miss um, Emily is a coworker that she works with us 
in SGA. Um, she is at the DARE campus and she is my, my right hand, my left hand, everything around. She, we just work great together. Um, she's great with the students and I'd like to welcome her aboard. Um, she has made some terrific flyers for all the students and um, with the hashtag on it. We have, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and let you discuss the flyers that you made before I say any more, Miss Emily. <laughs> sure. So, um, for example, we had like the TikTok competition today. We made a TikTok flyer. Um, any of the flyers that we've made that have been sent out to students, we're trying to get a lot of our stuff um, kind of ramped up on social media. So if students, staff, faculty are doing anything, um, they're posting it to social media with the new hashtag COA Dolphins. So we have the TikTok competition one today. We've got um, COA Gear Day coming up. We've got um, National Dress Your Pet Up Day coming up. Um, uh, we've got a t-shirt competition going on right now. A lot of different things for like welcome back week um, that the students have come up with, but I've kind of taken over the flyers to create that um, and making sure that we do have that hashtag on there. So we're starting to get that out there. So um, you guys will be seeing it a lot more and kind of like what Michelle said, anything that's getting posted to social media, throw that hashtag on there so um, we can start seeing it more. And if anybody goes to search it, we can kind of get it trending. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Emily. Of course. And um, with the t-shirt competition, we sent out a reminder yesterday um, for all new students for this semester to also join. Um, they will get to design the next COA um, shirt for students. So they're sending in different designs and they go to Ms. Emily. Um, and we have some guidelines that's on the email, but they will we'll go through it, we'll pick a winner and then um, we'll have a new shirt for the students that will be designed um, by one of our students. So we're very excited about that. Um, is there anybody else that's on, Ms. Robin, that you'd like to share anything about going on at Edenton campus, the Tawan campus? <laughs> You're muted, Ms. Robin. Hi. <laughs> You're talking to me. Robin oh. Zinmeister. That's what I thought. Make it short. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, it just, it, you know, it just took me a second to uh, That's okay. unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm going to be teaching uh, some technology workshops on um, using Zoom at Edenton coming up. Um, <laughs> nothing, I, I think the most exciting thing for students um, coming up is that when we do return to campus, we are gonna have a brand new parking lot for them. And so um, they are working diligently on that as the weather uh, <laughs> allows us to. And um, so we hope to, I think Jim said that's gonna be finished by hopefully end of the month. Um, and other than that, um, you know, we are just looking for it. And, and let me say this, even though it seems that there is not a lot of action going on at the campus, um, in terms of students, or if we have students on the line um, on the call today that, you know, need to meet with someone, um, reach out to myself, to Anna Boyce, to Shirley Blunt. Um, we are there, someone is there at different times, and so we are happy to, um, to meet with you um, as needed. So that's all. Thank you, Ms. Robin. Adrian, do you have any other questions or comments in the chat? Abby Berner has a question. Okay, thank you. Hi. Okay, I was, so this spring I'm graduating and I haven't really had to like think about this yet in the past, like for the past few semesters. Um, how was graduation looking like right now? Is it going to be like pretty similar to how it was last semester and like the semester before that? Because of COVID. That's an excellent question. Dr. Bagwell, do you want to? No, no, I'll let you take it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that's an excellent question, and you're the third person who has asked me that question today. So I think I'm prepared. Um, the truth is, you know, it is too early for us to commit to a format. However, I think our worst case scenario, which has seemed to be 
exciting for students and they really have loved it would be a walkthrough format in which we probably would have two days and allow students to walk through. And the benefit of that is, uh, at least in December, all of those students, they felt like they had reserved the whole pack for themselves. They were able to bring in, you know, non-family members and they really enjoyed it. Um, that would be the worst case. In a worst case, that's a really good, you know, outcome. And the best case scenario is that we would be able to do something with uh, social distancing or, or something of that nature. But again, it is too soon for us to be able to make that judgment call and to start sharing our concrete plans for graduation. But we are closely monitoring the situation and we know how important it is for students. And so we will do everything we can to ensure Abby, that you, as well as everyone else who's graduating, that you guys are celebrated in, a, in an amazing way. Thank you for asking. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I did have a private message from Michaela Murphy. Um, she was on and she would love to say, I love this. I am sorry I have to run to a student meeting, but thanks for having me. So she had to get off, but she just wanted to say thank you. I, I, I love the Dolphin Pod Chats. Um, it, it just makes everyone, it, it goes back to that word that we always use at COA. And Dr. Bagwell and Ms. Chris and Ms. Robin, and Mr. Tim, everyone can know it, it's the family. And you know, even though we're doing it through Zoom and hopefully it's not much longer, knock on this wood. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll all be back together, but this is one special way that we all can be together um, learning information about our campuses. Um, you may be brand new and you're not sure and you're scared and we just want you to know that we're here for you. We're going to take your hand and we're going to ride this ride with you. We're going to jump on that roller coaster even though I'm terrified of roller coasters. <laughs> I will get on that roller coaster and anyone else that I work with here at COA will be here 100% for any of you here. So I know this was a short one today um, and that's okay. We, I think we covered a lot of information. I'm going to go one more time. Is there any questions or concerns before we do sign off? There are nothing in the chat. Thank you. And again, I'd like to remind everyone that our next one is January 26th, again, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And I can't wait to see all of you. And I want to say thank you for joining us today. It was amazing. And everyone, please be safe. And I will see you next time on the Dolphin Pod Chat. Thank, thank you, all. Guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Abby, are you still on here?